Just being a surfer, uh, obviously swimwear is an integral part of your equipment and uh, I just found that it was very difficult to find something out in the market that was um, functional so I stayed on in the surf. A lot of the swimsuits were either very fashion and they didn't have the function um, or they you know, were very functional and then just looked like the navy blue athletic suit. So I just decided that um, there was a need there. I get, came from a fashion background. I started off as a model and then I've worked as a surf instructor. Had a lot of surfing industry experience and then mixed with, with the fashion background. Um, sort of melted the two together and made a business of something that I was really passionate about. A lot of people didn't so much think I was crazy but definitely questioned what I was doing but I think at some stage in your life you have to follow your dream and yeah stay true to what you really believe in and and have a go like if you don't take some risks you miss out on some amazing opportunities. have to be confident in your own product. I personally couldn't live with myself if I thought I was putting something out there that didn't do what we said it was going to do. For me it was a year before I was confident with what we had. Um, it was a year of testing and researching and, and coming up with the product that I felt I was confident with and the day that we tested the product and I was like well, we've done it, it stays on. It was really exciting and, and that was a good 12 months. With this swimsuit, it's your traditional triangle shape in the front, uh, with the exception that it's on um, a band, it's sewn onto the band, so the triangle doesn't move on a wire or on a string, so it's not gonna slide from side to side, it actually stays in place. The strap crossing over takes it away from the neck. These little loops, it slides through, allows you to tighten the strap and therefore get a really customised fit so the top's feeling really firm and snug when you're out there in the surf. The bottom is your classic tie side hipster bottom and the ties on the side allow for that really snug fit again, um, keeping the swimwear nice and firm. The string isn't movable, it's all sewn on so you're not getting the movement but still having that really fashion kind of look within the suit. Even when I go on my surfing holidays, uh, I'm still testing new product. I'm probably more active in the ocean with thinking about business and thinking how things work. And you get some kind of clarity out there that you can't find here. So no, you don't switch off. And I do have dreams of swimwear and um, sometimes the first thing I say to my husband in the morning is something to do with swimwear. It's really important to choose how, how you go about you know, your marketing. There's no point in spending $10,000 and putting one full page ad in one magazine one time. That's not going to help you increase your branding. I think it's more important to become involved in um, events and help with small sponsorships, even if it's only a product sponsorship. You really need to know the processes so you can set your systems up. You have to have those systems in place to deal with whatever arises and if you have the process then you can get to the end result and have a satisfactory outcome. I manufacture in China just to stay competitive. The way that the swimwear industry is to compete at a successful level you do have to be manufacturing offshore. I guess just looking at um, the fashion industry as a whole, uh, a lot of uh, manufacturing has gone offshore and not just in fashion, in all kinds of industries. Uh, so I knew that it was the way that we needed to go as well. Of course I did a lot of research here. I made a lot of phone calls, ringing people up and finding out prices and doing comparisons and just generally talking to people in the industry. It is really difficult fact-finding but you just have to stay persistent and just 
stay focused and um, just keep information gathering and make your decisions based on what you find. I trademark everything as much as I possibly can. Unfortunately with the designs it's hard to patent because in the fashion industry you only have to change things in a very minimal way to break the patent and they're really expensive the patents so at the end of the day weighing up the cost versus the risk you have to just go for it and sort of leave yourself a little bit exposed and I know just through how long it's taken me to get the designs right um, it's not going to be a case of someone being able to come in and overnight do what you're doing because it takes a lot of testing and a lot of research and a lot of bikinis on bodies. When you are in, in contact with your clients, it's really important to make that contact really special so that they remember it and have unique things that you can offer them, whether it's um, a loyalty program or you know they're having a problem with a certain style, giving them the facility to be able to ask you questions and to be able to personally help them. So we have a follow-up system um, just through our databasing and our client management. When it comes to actually contacting the client, I like to do that myself and I think it's really important to have a response within a 24-hour period. And if you can't, just let them know that you can't. If, if you tell them that you have something going on and you'll get back to them as soon as possible, they're fine with it. As long as you let them know, then you know they're more than happy to wait and to, to get the quality of information they need. Come select, select, select. I think primarily we'll stick to swimwear. There's so many different things in swimwear you can do. It's such a huge area. Uh, I've, I think eventually when we're confident that we have a lot of those markets covered, then we'll start to look at um, things like beach dresses and, and products that complement the swimwear. We will primarily stay a swimwear company though. I think you need to do one thing really well and not get too diverse too quickly otherwise yeah you won't have success in any of your areas. Um, just do your planning and do your research and as I said make sure it's something that you really want to do and something that you're passionate about because it is going to take up a lot of your time and encompass a lot of your life. The rewards are amazing and I'm not talking about financial rewards either it's getting emails from ladies saying you know this is the best swimsuit I've ever had or saying thank you so much for doing this you know it's been needed for so long and um, that kind of customer rapport that you build up and feeling like you're doing something that's contributing you know that's helping people and letting them get out there and enjoy an amazing sport that surfing is. Uh, it, I think those kind of things are the rewards and I think if you are true to those things then the financial rewards will come down the line. <laughs>